Hi everybody, I'm going to talk a little bit about programming languages and how we are able to uh, talk to our computer and teach it how to solve problems without having to physically go in and throw all the on-off switches that make up the binary numbers that run our computer. As we've talked about earlier, computers work in binary numbers. And the reason for that is because everything inside the computer is a bunch of uh, on-off switches. So, everything in the computer is binary numbers. Ones and zeros. Okay, nobody wants to control your computer by turning the switches on and off to deal with the ones and zeros. So every computer has an intrinsic language built into it called its machine language or machine code. The machine language is a way to control the on-off switches in the computer without having to actually throw the on-off switches. Now, this machine language is intrinsic to each individual computer, so every computer has a different machine language. Um, now, if you have a bunch of the same computer, they're all going to have the same machine language, um, but if you have a bunch of different computers, they all have their own intrinsic language. So if you wanted to learn how to use a bunch of different computers and speak to them through their machine languages, you'd have to learn each machine language for each computer. But that machine language is how you will communicate to the binary system inside the computer. All the original computers worked with machine language, so punch card computers, things like that, were uh, using that individual machine language for the computer. So experts on those computers would have to learn how to use the machine language of those particular computers. A later development allowed us to um, use Instead of the machine language, we got to use a more universal type of language, which is called a compiled programming language. So a compiled programming language comes next. A compiled programming language is, for example, things like Fortran or C++ or ANSI C. And there are a few others on the list as well. With a compiled programming language, now, instead of dealing with the computer's intrinsic machine language, you can write in this compiled programming language on any computer and then use a tool called a compiler, which will convert what you've done in the compiled programming language into that machine's uh, intrinsic machine language. So the compiler sits in between your programming language and the code you write in it and the machine language. So you run your code through the compiler, it converts it to the machine language so you can then use the binary ones and zeros of that computer. Now what we're dealing with in CE2800 and CE3800 is we're using MATLAB. MATLAB is what's called a scripting language. It's also sometimes known as an interpreted language. A scripting language is a uh, platform that is written usually in some other compiled programming language. Some examples of scripting languages are MATLAB, Python, those are scripting languages, um, TCL, Bash, these are all scripting languages. MATLAB, for example, is written in C++. So every function that you use in MATLAB eventually is going to be calling some kind of um, piece of programming that was written in C++. The advantages of a scripting language are you do not have to run your code through a compiler. The code automatically runs direct from the code you've written in a scripting language. Also in a scripting language, you can uh, pull in utilities 
or they're built in utilities that allow you to do things like make plots and images and in general control output. So using a scripting language, you have a lot more possibilities for visualization of your data and your information. In a compiled programming language, you don't have those kind of utilities. You have just your code and just your input and output numbers. And then you have to pull in other utilities from other programs in order to visualize your information. The advantage of a compiled programming language over a scripting language comes in performance. So if you write the same code in MATLAB or in C++, it's going to run a lot faster in C++. And that's because when you run it through the compiler, it actually makes a lot of optimizations of your code and um, allows it to run faster. Uh, MATLAB has a much slower performance, but the trade-off is with that slower performance, you also have a lot more options on what you can do. So it's very good for uh, doing data analysis.